Testing samples of a given solution with various indicators allows one to narrow down the range of possible pH values for the solution. We'll show you how this works using a couple of examples. In our first example question, we're given that three separate samples of solution A are obtained and each sample is tested with a different indicator. The results are shown on the following table. Methyl orange is yellow, thymol blue is yellow, and methyl red is red. We'll locate methyl orange, methyl red, and thymol blue on the indicator table. It gives us the pH ranges of the various colors of each indicator. Notice thymol blue appears twice on this table. We'll start with methyl orange. Its line on the indicator table, shown on top here, tells us it changes from red to yellow as the pH increases from 3.2 to 4.4. So below a pH of 3.2, methyl orange is red. Between pH 3.2 and 4.4, it changes from red to orange to yellow as the pH increases. And above a pH of 4.4, it is yellow. The table shown on the bottom here tells us methyl orange is yellow in solution A. So that tells us the pH of solution A is greater than or equal to 4.4. Now we'll look at thymol blue. Its lines on the indicator table, shown on top here, tells us it turns yellow at a pH of 2.8 and stays yellow until the pH increases to 8. Our table at the bottom shows us that thymol blue is yellow in solution A. So this tells us the pH is somewhere between 2.8 and 8. The line for methyl red on the indicator table, shown on top here, tells us that methyl red is red at pH is below 4.8. Orange between 4.8 and 6, and yellow at any pHs above 6. The table at the bottom shows that methyl red is red in solution A. So this indicator tells us the pH is less than or equal to 4.8. Because the pH is greater than or equal to 4.4, and less than or equal to 4.8, it means pH is somewhere between 4.4 and 4.8 inclusive. Notice that the range 4.4 to 4.8 is well within the range 2.8 to 8. So the range thymol blue gives us does not help to narrow down the pH range of 4.4 to 4.8, which is our answer. Here's another question. We're given that solution B is yellow when the indicator alizarin yellow is added and blue when the indicator thymol blue is added and we're asked which one of these solutions is the correct identity for solution B. The indicator table tells us that when alizarin yellow is yellow, the pH is less than or equal to 10.1. So we'll add this range to our table down here for solution B. The indicator table also tells us that when thymol blue is blue, the pH is greater than or equal to 9.6. So we'll add this range in the table down here. Because the pH is greater than or equal to 9.6 and less than or equal to 10.1, we can say that the pH is somewhere between 9.6 and 10.1 inclusive. Now we'll calculate the pH of each one of the given possible solutions and see which one fits within the range we came up with. We'll start with 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth molar HCl. Because the HCl is a strong acid, the concentration of H3O plus is equal to the concentration of the acid, which is 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, which is the negative log of 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. Rounded to one decimal place, this comes out to 3.5. So we'll make a note of that here. Now we'll find the pH of the second solution, 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth molar NaOH. Because NaOH is a strong base, we can say the concentration of OH- is equal to the concentration of NaOH, which is 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. 
POH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, which is the negative log of 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. So the POH expressed to one decimal place is 3.5. The pH is 14 minus the POH, or 14 minus 3.5, which comes out to 10.5, which we'll make a note of here. Now we'll consider the third solution, 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molar HCl. Again, because HCl is a strong acid, the hydronium ion concentration is equal to the concentration of the acid, which is 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, or the negative log of 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth, which to one decimal place comes out to 4.2, which we'll make a note of here. Now we'll find the pH of the last solution, 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molar NaOH. Because this is a strong base, the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to the concentration of NaOH, which is 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. POH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, which is the negative log of 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Rounded to one decimal place, the pOH comes out to 4.2. The pH is 14 minus the pOH, or 14 minus 4.2, which comes out to 9.8. So we'll make a note of that here. Remember the tests with the indicators told us that the pH of solution B is somewhere between 9.6 and 10.1. We see that the only pH which fits inside this range is 9.8. And the solution with a pH of 9.8 is choice D, 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molar NaOH. So to summarize, we can say that using the results of the indicators, we can conclude that solution B is 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molar NaOH.